Hi, welcome to the next lecture of Financial Statement Fundamentals. How to understand the story of any business at any time. This lecture is about income statement naming conventions. Hi, my name's Axel. Uh, this is me. Uh, this is a photo I took for my LinkedIn profile. Okay, but back to the lecture. Naming conventions. For some reason or another, I, I can't explain why exactly. It's, it's a little confusing and makes it harder to understand the income statement than what it should be. But there are many names for the income statement. It, it changes regularly, different companies, different versions and different names. But you have to remember that they all refer to the same document. And they all contain the same information. They all contain revenue and income. They all contain expenses and they all contain a net income or a net profit figure. So the key idea is they're identical documents. Here are some of the main names you'll come across. There's the income statement, which we refer to, or the profit and loss statement, which I also refer to a bit. There's also the profit or loss statement. Uh, there's the statement of financial performance, which is a few years older, as well as the statement of comprehensive income. Uh, some of these names are used by large uh, corporate groups. So they have consolidated statement of operations or it could be known as a consolidated statement of earnings or a consolidated statement of income or even a consolidated results of operations. All right, so if you are insured, just, just look at the report's content. If there's revenue or income, expenses and a net profit or a net result or a net income, then it is the one document. There's no, there's no real difference. It's just simply a somewhat confusing naming convention, but it is the exact same document.